Eight years after the last edition of the film, The Night at the Museum returns with another installment in the franchise. For a lot of people, Ben Stiller's job as a night guard at a museum, where the displays come to life, was the dream profession when they grew up. In this video, we'll talk about everything we know about the newest Night at the Museum film. So stay tuned. First, let's talk about the new trailer. The first teaser trailer for the upcoming film was released this week, and it's time to delve back into the entertaining and educational world with Night at the Museum. Ben Stiller played a down-on-his-luck single father who works as a night guard at the museum and will be welcoming his son to his workplace for the first time. The continuation of the beloved franchise will be fully animated for the first time with the new installment. Nick Daly will be the main protagonist for the new animated film, but fans will be excited to see that there's a lot of familiar faces present in the film. The likes of the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton, Rexy, and the beloved Easter Island head will be a part of the film, adding a great sense of nostalgia to the movie. Nick is a high school student in the film, which will surely make the job more challenging. But as the synopsis says, he's determined to live up to his father's name. Alongside the T-Rex and the Easter Island head, Nick will be joined by his old pals from the old movies, Jedediah, Octavius, and Sacagawea. Coming up, let's talk about the old movies and the story we've got so far. The first film came out way back in 2006 and instantly became a favorite of kids all over the world. Ben Stiller's phenomenal performance as night guard Larry Daly is still remembered as one of his most iconic. The story follows Larry, who started working as a night guard at the Museum of Natural History to make ends meet as a single dad. When he starts the new job, some rather strange events start to take place. In fact, Strange would be underselling it. Larry finds out that the displays and wax models actually come to life during the night. He befriends some of the historic figures like Teddy Roosevelt and also learns that the T-Rex acts like a dog. Everything's all fun and games till he has to face the historic figures that aren't very nice and also make sure that there's no damage done to the museum. As he continues forming alliances with the displays and the historical figures, they work together toward the end to capture Cecil, Gus, and Reginald, who were trying to steal from the museum. The first film lives on in the hearts of many who grew up fantasizing about how they wanted to be a night guard when they grew up. With a cast full of stars like Ben Stiller, Robin Williams, and Rami Malek, the film did amazing at the box office, making over five times its production budget. With over $550 million made, it was hard for the film not to become a franchise that is now about to release a fourth movie, especially considering the films that came after have all done well, fully pushing the idea for a fourth. Next up, who's Kamen Ra, the main villain in the new film? Kamen Ra comes from the second edition of the beloved franchise, Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. Larry finds out why the historical figures don't get along with the ancient Egyptian exhibits. As it turns out, they're led by a maniacal overlord in Kamen Ra. The movie starts off with most of the exhibits being moved to the Smithsonian, but without the tablet of Akman Ra, meaning they will lose the power to come to life at night. After the exhibits are moved, Larry learns that Dexter the monkey has stolen the tablet and taken it to the Smithsonian, meaning all hell was about to break loose at the museum. Larry ends up traveling to Washington, D.C., and finds his friends trapped inside a shipping container while under attack from Achman Ra's evil elder brother, Common Ra. This leads to a night that was even crazier than the last movie as Larry and his son Nick have to take on the warlord and save their friends. Kamen Ra's goal was to unlock the Egyptian underworld and take over using his army of the dead. The film ends in a climactic battle between Larry's historical allies and Kamen Ra's villainous army. Moving on, what does Kamen Ra want this time around? The newest addition to the beloved franchise will see the film going right back to 2009. The main villain from the second film, Kamen Ra, will be making an evil comeback. Kamen Ra was one of the best parts of the second film as he gave Nick's dad, Larry, a real run for his money. This time, the maniacal ruler comes back with a vengeance, planning to resurrect the army of the dead and take over again. He plans to unlock the Egyptian underworld that Larry had to work so hard to stop before. Kamen Ra is a devious foe that took the entire museum's best to stop last time around. This time, Nick will probably have his father's guidance 
and some new historic buddies on his side as he takes on the evil overlord. Speaking of historic buddies, expect to see Nick linking up with some new additions to the cast. Joan of Arc will be part of the adventure, as well as Dr. McPhee. This time, Common Ra will be voiced by Joseph Kamal, as opposed to Hank Azaria, who voiced the character in Battle of the Smithsonian. Next up, what do we know about the movie so far? The Night at the Museum, Common Ra Rises Again, is going to be released on Disney Plus exclusively. All other films of the franchise are also available on the streaming platform, except for the third installment, which is only available on Stars. The movie is surprisingly close to its release, which will take place on the 9th of December this year. What's really going to be sad to see is the fact that there's no Ben Stiller in this film. He will not be voicing his beloved character, Larry Daly, as Zachary Levi takes over to voice the beloved character. For a lot of people who grew up watching the franchise, Ben Stiller and Robin Williams were what made the film so enjoyable. After William's death, Ben starred in the next two parts and is now finally passing the torch to another for this one. While we're sure that fans will be pretty disappointed that Stiller isn't in the film, Zachary Levi is definitely going to breathe some new life into everyone's favorite character. It should be noted, though, that this is very much Nick's story rather than his father's. Although Larry will be playing a big supporting role, Nick is going to be the main guy this time around. The film also seems to be very suited for a child audience, with the decision to make it fully animated and to make the main character a high school student. Coming up, who's making Night at the Museum? Common Raw rises again. Sean Levy, who directed the first three Night at the Museum films, will have less of a role, although an active one, as he joins the crew as a producer for this one. Levy said he was impressed with the film and only had nice things to say, as he stated that the movie stays true to the original while adding something new to it. That's probably exactly what you'd want to hear when reprising such a legendary film franchise that's so close to people's hearts. Joining Levy as producers are Michael Barnathan, Emily Morris, and Mark Radcliffe. The crew is pretty star-studded as they bring in Matt Danner as animation director, Fairly Odd Parents writers, Ray De Laurentiis and William Schifrin, and Daredevil composer John Paisano. Next, who's starring in Night at the Museum, Common Raw Rises Again. While cameos are always possible, the main cast from the three previous films will not be joining the film for any major roles this time. Before you submit your disappointment, though. The film's cast is stacked as it is. We'll have Joshua Bassett and Joseph Kamal voicing the two main characters in Nick and Common Ra. Zachary Levi is the former face of the film, Larry and Gillian Jacob voices Nick's mom, Erica. As for other recasting for the denizens of the museum, we have Thomas Lennon as President Teddy Roosevelt, Steve Zahn as miniature cowboy Jebediah, Jack Whitehall as miniature Roman legionnaire Octavius, and Kieran Sequoia as historic guide Sacagawea. The franchise has had an immense impact on the kids that grew up during the 2000s. A great mix of entertainment, comedy, and educational value. The film has always been a fan favorite, and from the looks of it. The newest edition will be just as iconic for a new generation of kids. So how excited are you for the newest part of such an iconic franchise? That's all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and feel free to comment what you think down below. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new exciting content. And we'll see you next time.